Um, first, I want to wish everybody out there a happy 4th of July weekend. I hope everyone had fun, had a good time. Um, the ironic part is that at a time when we're supposed to be celebrating, um, you know, independence and the liberties that we usually take for granted in this country, some interesting things have been happening lately um, that I've noticed, and maybe you have too, with the way free speech, one of our, you know, probably the biggest, uh, you know, liberty that we have here, is being subjugated by Obama and, oh, I, I called him Obama, I'm really not calling him that anymore, I'm actually now referring to him as the Messiah, um, for obvious reasons, if you've been following the news. I don't, I'm not quite sure where that turn started from, but I, I saw that mentioned on the news uh, months ago, back when the primary uh, just started. Um, but I also call him that because, number one, I think that's how he thinks of himself. Certainly, that is how his lovely wife thinks of him, because she said at you know, one of her rallies that he's the only one in the you know, the election who can, I think it was, heal this world and to save our souls. And, of course, you know, that's something that only, I suppose, the Messiah can do. So, I, I guess, therefore, that makes him the Messiah. And clear, certainly the way his faithful followers, the cultists, worship him, he, he's deserving of that title. And I believe in giving people um, the respect they're due. So, he will be by me at least, referred to henceforth as the Messiah. So anyway, over this, over the last few days, I've really been checking out some of the startup websites by uh, Hillary supporters, I guess mostly, and I don't know, maybe just some other concerned Democrats. Um, but the, I guess one of the main sites is the Puma Pack site. And, um, the, well, they're all under the Just Say No Deal banner, but there's a whole ton of them, and I've been checking out several of them. Uh, one of the ones I highly recommend is the NoQuarterUSA.net, and I'll have links to these sites, and they're always, you can find them on my, uh, YouTube page, profile page. But, they were featuring a story, um, Several people who had blogs, I guess, either anti-Obama blogs or pro-Hillary blogs that were housed on uh, Google, um, had their sites blocked. Uh, they were, I guess, temporarily shut down um, for days, apparently. And the one thing that they all had in common is that they were speaking out against Obama. And so they were posting about this. Um, apparently, I didn't know this, but they revealed on the No Quarter site that Google is a major contributor to Obama's campaign. So, hmm, I guess there's no reason why they would be trying to silence, you know, voices of dissent. Um, also, people on YouTube that often spoke out ab against Obama have been banned. Um, familiar names, faces that I um, see are just gone now. And come to find out yet again who owns YouTube but Google. So, and I, I, I don't know if this is common, but I've personally experienced where I've tried to post comments to other people's videos and it wouldn't go through. And at first I thought, hmm, that's strange and it's never happened before. And I, you know, I actually rewrote the text and tried to paste it again into a different video because I wasn't sure if it was the particular video I was responding to. And the same text was blocked on a different video. And so I just, I just tried typing in anything and that did go through. So I don't know what the filters are, what kind of words they're blocking. I didn't put anything particularly, you know, foul or or obscene in the post, so I don't understand why it was blocked, but it's happened three times now. 
and it's only happened when I've been trying to reply to an Obama video or the Messiah. <laughs> I gotta get used to that. Um, but again, on this weekend, um, and then they, they also, if you've ever been by the Messiah's website. And I go over there sometimes. I don't post, but I, I do go over there to read sometimes. And the way that site is conducted, I mean, this is under the Messiah's control. Whoever he pays, his paid staff, and whatever he tells them to do, they do on the site. And even back in the, uh, the beginning of the primary, you would go over there and you would see the most hateful rhetoric directed at Hillary, at her supporters, at anybody that wasn't the, you know, one of the cult-like followers. Um, but he had control of this. You know, he could have put a stop to this kind of speech if he wanted to. And the thing I came to realize is that this is how he was allowing his people to, to connect with each other and to form his brand of unity. They weren't, it wasn't unifying them in praise of him and his visionary, it became a unity and a collection based on hate, hate of the enemy. And that's what it was. Um, now that, you know, that, that Hillary has suspended her campaign, well, they vanquished the evil one, the witch. So now they're turning the hatred to um, McCain and to the, I guess, the Hillary people who have rejected it and are, you know, fighting now for the the real Democratic Party, what it used to be. Um, it still continues, but, you know, he could stop it. He chooses not to do this. And also, over on his site, you know, he has flip-flopped on all these issues, the FISA, the uh, withdrawal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And his some of his most loyal supporters are questioning his decisions or reversals or whatever but they're not allowed to express it on his site that I've seen instantly they are attacked by their own um, you know they're quieted that you, you're not supposed to show any kind of thinking you're just supposed to follow and they also brand you as a, a traitor, an outsider, or just an, uh, you know, interloper if you don't have a profile set up so that it becomes like a carded nation. You know, they check for your papers. And of course, you know, the biggest thing of all that's happened, or I guess will happen, is that the Messiah wants to push to keep Hillary's name off the ballot when they get to the uh, convention so that her delegates don't even have the choice to cast the vote for her. I mean, this would render it impossible again for anybody to, <laughs> even if they wanted to, and I'm sure plenty do, uh, you know, speak out against him if they feel there's a just need to. It, it will become a you know, a brokered convention, a coronation is what people will look at it. It will make it even more impossible for people to look at the Messiah as the legitimate winner. Um, but this is the state he wants to create. And if it's this bad now, imagine if he should get the nomination or, God help us, become the president. So, but anyway, uh, just take this video and this weekend is a reminder to really how truly like a, lucky we are to be in this country to you know have the rights that we have and how close that we maybe we don't always realize it but how close we really are to losing those freedoms you know that eternal vigilance vigilance and that it's worth fighting for